welcome to Norwegian Modeling Bench. This is Kenneth. So in this uh, 12th installment of the CV6 build, I am starting the weathering of the hull and the hangar deck. I will uh, show the steps that I've taken and um, I hope that um, you will uh, find it interesting. I'm definitely not an, a weathering expert, but uh, I'm trying my best. So I hope that you enjoy the content and that you would like to uh, continue following me by subscribing to my channel. And of course, as always, I love to get feedback on the video. So please provide any comments. So enjoy. So now I've come to the point where I can start doing some weathering, uh, both inside the hangar deck. As you can see, I've gotten all the interior stairs in place and installed. And um, same with all the details I want on the hull uh, before I weather. And I want to weather at this point in time on the hull or the lower part of the hull uh, because now I can uh, lay the hull on the side without very big risk of knocking off parts. Which will definitely be a lot more difficult later when I have uh, added the flight deck and at least the island, the conning tower. Um, of course... Uh, also doing weathering on um, the stern structure here before adding the flight deck above. Then it will be very inaccessible. And same thing with the bow area, which definitely looks too pristine at the moment. Uh, I have started doing some weathering on... Uh, on the hull here. I don't know if it's very visible. Uh, let me refocus here. Okay, that should be a bit better. Of course, I have uh, given the entire outside of the hull and the hangar deck uh, a gloss uh, varnish, so uh, I can uh, I can uh, do the weathering without the risk of ruining the paint job. So what you can see here is that I have started on, um, on the hull and uh, what I have done is what I'm going to show on the other side when I'm working on, um, on the star, uh, port side. First, uh, of course, I've used panel liners to uh, accentuate the, the gossing lines, the, uh, the port holes and um, of course, some other details like the ports um, and uh, and so on. Then I've added some salt streaking effect, uh, both to simulate um, salts on on the hull, uh, but also uh, the paint becoming paler in the sunlight. Which probably has another good word in English, uh, but since English is not my uh, first language, it's sometimes difficult to find the correct words. So sorry about that. Then I've added some uh, streaking grime uh, on different places where it would be natural that you have these effects. And then lastly, some uh, algae uh, growth on the lower part on um, on the hull. Uh, this will, of course, be. I will have this in the sea base, <clears throat> so I'm not doing anything more on on the anti fouling. Um, some parts of the the black uh, stripe will of course be uh, visible or might be visible, so that's why I've added uh, added the, the, the grime. Um, then it will be adding some rust. Uh, I won't overdo that. Uh, I think I hope. <laughs> Um, because then it looks just exaggerated and uh, definitely not good. 
So I'm not saying that I'm a weathering expert of any kind. So this is um, just my attempt of, of trying to get a bit of realism uh, to this. Um, Otherwise, it will just look very plain uh, and dull uh, with uh, just a flat uh, navy blue color. So uh, then I will uh, show you the steps uh, that I use at least for weathering up the hangar deck and the hull. Um, I hope that uh, you uh, get some inputs. Uh, of things that you could do as well if you want to weather your hull. So let's move on and get some weathering done. So the first thing uh, I'm adding is the panel line, a black one from Tamiya. Uh, and this is of course to accentuate uh, the panel lines uh, on the hangar deck. Uh, uh, as you can see, the varnish wasn't very good in, in one uh, part of the deck, but uh, on this side it went very well. So this is just applying small dots and uh, then uh, I started working on the walls, doing the same thing there to accentuate the, all the details on, uh, on the walls. Before uh, I am uh, starting to remove it with a uh, cotton bud uh, damped in a white sprit. And of course, as you can see, always going perpendicular to uh, the lines that you want to remove the, uh, the panel line uh, uh, from. Um, so just work slowly, surely, see the results and uh, do any necessary adjustments. Same things with uh, the walls, uh, also with the cotton bud damped in uh, white sprit and uh, remove the excess uh, panel liner. Then, uh, of course, the hangar walls wasn't uh, pristine, uh, as you can see from, uh, from pictures. So I'm using this interior streaking to, to give uh, some grime effect uh, to the interior and uh, really makes the walls a bit more dirty as you can see from the picture as well uh, it was uh, far from uh, from white uh, hospital feeling inside so just applying some dots around and uh, then using a damp uh, brush to uh, to uh, then kind of give the walls a, a wash shouldn't be too difficult to do. Same thing with the elevator, it was really grimy as well. So same thing there. Then it was time to give the panel lines that we scribed in the first installment um, some color. So I'm using gray panel liner from Tamiya. Um, just uh, I didn't want to use black because I think that would be uh, just a bit too much uh, when looking at pictures it it's more the Sun and uh, some uh, light grime that you can see on those panel lines so uh, just moving across the entire hull and um, and filling up those lines as we did on the hangar deck then Taking the cotton bud and uh, damping it uh, in some uh, white sprit and uh, removing excess uh, panel liner. Uh, I let uh, the panel liner dry for at least an hour before doing this, so I'm not removing uh, too much of uh, undried panel liner at least. Of course, you could use uh, other thinners as well. This is enamel, so uh, that would be fine. But uh, my experience is that the white spirit is better, uh, at least when you have acrylic uh, underneath. Then I'm uh, making a light wash with some um, Vallejo wash and thinner to accentuate the, the details in the ports. Uh, this is more light and uh, also uh, easier for the paint, so to say.
to accentuate the uh, the gaussian cables i'm using the black panel liner just filling in uh, the gaps uh, in uh, the pe that was attached and letting the panel liner just seep in in the crevices same with uh, all the port holes on exhaust and then giving the scuttles also a bit of panel liners to accentuate the details there then uh, it's the that the girders on the platforms and uh, and so on that i want to, to give uh, some accentuating as well then the same operation with the damp uh, cotton bud uh, removing any excess uh, paddle liner So then it's time to start uh, giving the hull uh, some salt streaks using um, the AK-1 dotting uh, around the hull where I want uh, some uh, some salt, not too much. Uh, if you can use a cotton bud to remove any any uh, dots that you you wouldn't like, and then using a damp uh, brush with uh, white spirit to. Uh, distribute the, the salt on, on the hull. Uh, you can use your time, uh, and do changes uh, uh, along the way, so you get the result you want. So it's nice to look at when it's dry, if you need to do any adjustments uh, on the salt streak, so it doesn't look too exaggerated at least. As you can see, I'm doing here. I wanted to give uh, the, uh, the hull some extra grime, so uh, like uh, dirty water running off from uh, different places, also the uh, scuttles or the portholes. Um, I used a wash for this uh, for uh, Kriegsmarine ships and then I used a damp uh, brush to to distribute the uh, the wash a bit, um, of course you might get too much, so using uh, some time to remove uh, some excess with some cotton bud or other brush is, is a good thing. Just spend some time to to get the correct look that you want. Uh, it might look a bit exaggerated here, also because of the color from the camera, but. Um, working through, uh, through it gives you good results. Um, so it's really up to you how, how to make that one. Then uh, it's time to add some uh, slimy grime green uh, on uh, the lower part of the hull, on the black line. So this is an acrylic one from Vallejo. So just uh, dabbing it uh, on, uh, trying to give it a bit uh, texture kind of uh, since it's uh, algae so it's not uh, uniform in, in, in any way and it probably won't be shown that much when this is added to the base but still good to have then I wanted to add some uh, some rust and I'm using a pigment here from BMS uh, blending it with alkyd binders uh, which also gives you a good uh, texture uh, when, uh, when it's finished uh, applying it on uh, at least the bits and, um, and uh, places where there is uh, some wear and tear. Um, not everything is going to show very well when it's uh, done, but at least it gives uh, an impression that the ship is in use and, um, and not pristine. Uh, then uh, to uh, to uh, kind of distribute uh, and blend in this, these pigments, uh, I will using a um, carrier uh, weather carrier from VMS as well, uh, which uh, you apply afterwards to to distribute the, the color or the pigments. I mean. Um, so all in all, these are pretty nice to work with. It's easy to remove uh, any excess that you don't want to have. And I'm also using several rust colors here in the end to get the final result. 
Um, so I can highly recommend uh, looking at those pigments. So then we are at the end. So this is the final result before moving ahead with uh, the interior of the hangar deck and also uh, the flight deck above. So I hope that you like this one and um, please give me any comments. So until next time, keep safe. Bye for now.